Hey peeps, Mr. ATC back to you again for no idea of housing and today we are going to review a nice product as usual again from Parkside. I got a new one, a new sender from Parkside so I've decided to review it for you and see how it works. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so today the sender we are going to review is the PMFS 200B2 from Parkside. And before we start, the first thing I will have to say for those asking, if you're looking to have the same product, you can buy them directly at Lidl. Then here, we will first start by removing everything from that box. This thing here is the dust collector that you will have to connect on the back of your sender. And next to that, you have different adapters. For the sandpaper, the first one is the pointy one, second one is the round one, and the third one is the rectangle one. In the bag here, they are giving us different size and uh, pattern of sandpaper to adapt on the different adapters, basically. And uh, note that we have uh, two for each of them, and also from different grid, two different grid. And note that they are also providing 4 additional rubber pins and 4 additional screws in order to adapt the other adapters. But of course, for more details about it, feel free to take a look at the manual that they are providing as I'm showing you here. Alright, so let's take a deep look on how we can remove the different adapters. And in order to remove it, we will have to use either a screwdriver, a manual one, or an electric one to remove the four screws that we have here. Alright, so let's try to first adapt the pointy one. Note that this one is the one that you need to use in order to go into some very small corners. The first thing you will need to do is to adapt the different plastic pins that they are providing, then insert the screws and attach it to the sander. But here, I've done a very small mistake. I'm gonna show you why. Before attaching to the sander, you need to make sure that each holes are aligned to the holes we have on the adapter. So you can properly screw them to those holes. Then here we are. Everything well connected and well in place. Alright, let's remove it in order to try a new one. And the new one that I'm talking about is the round one. And for the round one, you will only need the screws without the plastic pin. And in here, you're using the same process we used before. And if you would like to also use the vacuum cleaner, they're also providing a round black uh, adapter as I showed you here. And I realized that it's not always a good size depending on the vacuum cleaner you're using. And note that you will be able to also use it without the adapter. I will be showing you in a few moments. And in order to start sending here, I will be using my round sand paper. And to make sure that it's at the same time collecting the sand, you will need to align each hose. And now let's move to the speed. You will have different speed as I'm showing you just right here. Going from 1 to 6. Then you will find the on and off button placed above here. And what I realized here is that they are giving you a new grip which is giving you a good control when you are using the sander. And after that we will be looking at the length of the cable. The manual says that it's a very long cable that you can use in a very small shop, around 3 to 4 meters. Alright, so now that we are done with all this, let's start and give it a try. Alright, so to give it a try, we will just use one slot of pallet wood, as you can see just here. And the reason why I use this one is the fact that it's very irregular as you can see just right here. So we're gonna be sending only in the middle to see the result. 
and as you all know safety first so before we start sending i'm gonna just attach and screw this piece of wood to the table then now we can start but first i'm gonna use just the minimum speed to slowly go to the maximum speed the thing that i like with the sander is the fact that you don't need to apply too much pressure and it starts sending pretty well. Alright, so after a few minutes of sanding, I wanted to check the amount of dust we had. And as you can see, it's not a lot. But it's sanding pretty well. So I guess that the filter is working pretty well. Then now, let's try the vacuum cleaner, as I told you earlier. The connector that they provide in the box is not fit with my vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna use it without, as you can see here. And it's fitting pretty well. The little piece of plastic above here is just for the dust collector, not for the vacuum cleaner. So keep in mind that when you are using the vacuum cleaner, you need to make sure to check the adapter first. To conclude, I will say that this product is pretty good according to the price you are buying it. So I guess that for what it worth, you can use it at home or even in your small workshop. So, alright, here we are, a nice and quick review about the PMFS 200B2 from Parkside. And as you can see, it's pretty reliable. So, we're gonna be using this device, this tool, for our next project, which is a Christmas project. And it's coming pretty soon for you. And I hope that you like this type of short review that I'm doing for you about things that I'm using. Pretty easy things, easy tools, and they are very cheap, actually. It's for everyone, you can buy them in Lidl. Most of the time you can find them in Lidl, or you can also order them online. All right, as usual, Mr. ATC, for another idea of housing, sharing with you some pretty nice tips for you and pretty nice tools as well that you can use at home to do your things yourself. Do it yourself. That's the main goal of our platform, basically. So feel free to take a look at the different links that we are sharing with you in the video description because those links are helping us to promote even more and to create more videos for you. If you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe just right here and click on the bell in order to get a notification every time we are sharing new content with you. That was Mr. ATC again for another idea of housing and I will see you next time. Bye.